So my husband got a book and he was like, hey, you know, this YouTuber that I watch, he's a Christian. He recommended that wives read the book because it'll help me in case someone tries to, you know, rob me or rape me or whatever. So when I was listening to this book called The Gift of Fear, what I got out of the 30 minutes or so listening to it was trust intuition, that gut feeling in The Gift of Fear. He said, you will see that your personal solution to violence will not come from technology. It will come from an even grander resource that was there all the while within you. That resource is intuition. He packages it like a hunch of feeling. He puts a lot of trust in intuition, your gut, your feeling, and you need to go with that and listen to that voice inside of you. When we look in the scripture, even like with David running from Saul or, you know, in different battles and war and everything. We can learn a lot about how to deal with fear or trying to be safe. He cries out to the Lord for help. And he says he takes refuge in the Lord. His strength comes from the Lord. His help comes from the Lord. And he won't fear. He's going to put his trust in God. This man, Gavin, he's putting a lot of trust in himself, in this intuition, in this inner voice inside of us. The Bible also tells us that we're not supposed to trust in ourselves, but in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Gavin De Becker in the book also talks a lot about predicting, predicting human behavior. And it just reminded me of like psychics. They tap into their methods so they can predict or get a close idea of what could potentially happen. The problem is even if some of what this man is saying that he's learned just by, you know, working in the field or interviewing victims, it's the path that he leads you down. That's the trouble because you could sit there and be listening to this book or reading it and be like, wow, this would help me so much, but keep reading, keep listening to his other advice, which a lot of people will, you know, usually doesn't stop with a book. You like a book? Well, then you want to go get more books. You want to get more videos. You follow the dangling carrot far enough. It's leading you away from the Lord. Trust in your inner voice. It's going within and what you feel and what you think. But we can't trust that. And we should put our trust in the Lord and in his word. And we shouldn't be, you know, all obsessed with staying safe. Sure, God gives you a brain. And he also says that if you trust your intuition, you don't, you won't live in fear. He even says that by the end of this book, you won't live in fear.